Leo, it's morning. Hmm. Right. Good morning, Leo. Good morning. Did you get enough rest? Yeah. Hey, Leo. Hmm? Have a good day. Be safe. Thanks, I will. What's the matter? Did you find the ghost? I did. I was worried about you, bro. So did you take care of it? I did. There's nothing to worry about anymore. Thanks, mister. You're amazing! Promise you won't go to the abandoned temple at night anymore. I promise. Okay, I promise too. Hey, bro! This is our way of saying thanks. I see. Then, I graciously accept. See you later, bro! Come and play with us again! Sure. Rooster steps today. Sorry? You don't know Rooster steps? Well then, today's a big day for you. I guess so. You're in for...
That's not fast enough. Yes, good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yes, there. That's it. Yes, good. That's not fast enough. Yes, good. I said you're too slow. Yes, good. <laughs> Acceptable. You know what I want, right? Ten chickens, coming right up. Hmm. Here I go. Let's see how your skills hold up. You've got the strength. Perhaps it's time to teach you the technique. Please, I promise I'm ready. All right, then. Quickly close the gap and strike. Not now, thank you. Mm, very well. Don't go getting a big head just because you've done it a few times. I won't.
Did that wine have anything to do with my training? You're young. You have to get crafty in order to buy it. You'll never be able to learn a signature move if you give up. And besides, I wanted some good wine. Fine. About the chickens? The body check requires you to swiftly close in on your opponent, and then use your body to knock them into the air. You're not quick enough, yet. But if you can catch these chickens, you might be able to pull it off. Ah, uh, that makes more sense. But don't think pulling it off once or twice means that you've learned it. Okay. The days ahead will be full of long and arduous training. How did it go? Mr. Sun taught me the technique. He did? That's great. And I was right. Chicken catching was part of the training. So, what kind of move is it? It's called the body check. Sounds powerful. Yeah, it's a Baji Chun signature move. Really? Great. Now I can take on those thugs in the hermit's nest. And we can save Yen Xing. Exactly. And once we defeat the thugs... Hmm? Maybe they'll tell us about my father. Right. They've been targeting stonemasons, so they must know something. Yes. Now, let's get a move on and save Yan Xing. Okay. Get out here. Jeez, you two just never learn. Yan Xing. Careful, Shenhua. I'm gonna beat your friends to a bloody pulp now. Hope you enjoy the front row seat. Keep your distance, Shenhua. Okay. with this guy. Para. 
choke. Yeah. Who put you up to this? I don't know anything. Take care of him. Got it. Squeak. Don't think for one second you're better than me just because you beat me. All you did was get lucky. What did you say to me? Well, looky here. On another date with your cute little girlfriend. Don't you two make a cute couple. <laughs> Leo, don't listen to him. He's just trying to go to you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I have a question for you. Huh? Why the hell should I answer a little punk like you? Give it up. You have nowhere to run. <sighs> now, answer me. Who are you? Who, me? Can't you tell by looking? What? I'm just your friendly neighborhood thug. Yeah. Stop kidding around. I'm asking where you came from. Who the hell are you? You little brat! Who do you think you're talking to? Why don't you learn some manners first? What? If you want me to answer, say it pretty please. Why you? He's not going to answer us willingly. Damn it. <laughs> What's your plan? What do you want? Why did you target this village? Why? Oh, I don't know. What do you think? I'm the one asking the questions. Now answer me, damn you! Oh, look at you acting like you're all grown up. You're not even a man yet, boy. What? Leo, don't let him get to you. I know, damn it. <laughs> it looks like your little girlfriend has more brains and wit than you. Guess we know who wears the pants, huh? You piece of... Leo. Who sent you? Who's your boss? Boss? No one's the boss of me. You're not going to tell me, are you? What? You think I'm just going to cough it up? You're even dumber than you look, kid. 
Enough. If you don't tell me, I'll beat it out of you. Is that what you want? <laughs> Are you threatening me? You don't have the stones, kid. I swear, I'll do it. Hey, Ryo. Shenhua. No, Ryo. Just don't. Yeah, but... We'd be no different. Uh... You're right, Shenhua. <laughs> so, what do we do then? Hey, do you know Mr. Yun? Yun? Who the hell's that? Mr. Yun, the stonemason. That is my father. Nope, don't know, don't care. You guys dropped it, didn't you? He dropped it? Ugh, that idiot. Wait, what? Oh, uh, nothing. Huh? You people went after all the stonemasons on this list, didn't you? Spit it out. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know nothing about no stonemasons or that piece of paper. Are you sure? Look, I don't know what I don't know. Could you all wait outside? You too, Ryo. Are you sure? I'll just be a minute. Trust me. Okay. He's all yours. Hey. Uh. Huh? You think I'm afraid of a little girl like you? Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> 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 Shenhua? Shenhua, I'm coming in. Uh, uh, Shenhua, what did you... He says he'll tell us everything. <laughs> That's good. Well then, let's hear it. Talk. I said talk. Who are you? My name's Yin Lang. I'm just a common thug. Well, maybe not common, but you get my drift. I still can't believe I caved into this girl. You were easy. I've had a harder time breaking chopsticks. You win. Do what you want with me. Have at it! You turned around quick. What's up with this girl anyway? She's absolutely brutal! Speaking of, what exactly did you do to this guy, Shenhua? Oh, you want to know? I can give a demonstration. No! No more! Please! Pretty please, even! Shenhua. Why did you come to Bai Lu? You want to go for round two? No, no, ma'am. Then talk. At first, we were ordered to search for a mirror made out of some kind of special stone. I forgot what it was called. But we couldn't find the damn thing no matter where we looked. Is that why you targeted the stonemasons? I've been... I don't hear an answer. Ring the bell, yo. Okay, okay, I'll talk. Go on. When we reported back about the mirror, our next order was to kidnap its stonemason. I knew it. So you took my father? You kidnapped Mr. Yuan? Yuan. Yuan. Yeah, sounds familiar. He, he was the only one that could carve that whatchamacallit rock. Phantom Riverstone. Where did you take my father? Where is he now? We handed him off to the other guys. Where did they take him? I don't know. I swear. The thing is, our gang has several hideouts in a town along the Lijiang River. But I don't know where they all are. Oh, no. This can't be happening. You better not have laid a finger on him. 
No, no, he's fine, I swear. They said to hand him over in one piece. No injuries, no scratches. Father. Who ordered you? Was it that creepy looking guy with the hunchback? No, not him. Our orders came from higher up. So who are the higher ups? I don't know. What? What do you mean you don't know? No, really, I honestly don't know. You think I'm going to fall for that? Ding, ding. So you do want some more? No, I'm telling you the truth. I swear on my life. When we talked to them, we weren't even allowed to see their faces. What? And if we didn't comply, they would have killed us on the spot. That skinhead guy's just a watchdog. He was there to keep an eye on us. Is he cheer you men? Hard to say. It's not like we could just ask him. We just kept our mouths shut and followed orders. You know, search for the mirror and its stonemason. What did you tell him? Not much. I just gave him intel on the bridge. Wait, the Verdant Bridge? Why would you... What's so special about the Verdant Bridge? What do you know about it? Tell us! Beats me! Never cared in the first place! In fact, why do I care now? There's no turning back for me anyway! <laughs> Come to think of it, nothing matters anymore! <laughs> you piece of... Take it easy! If you want to know that bad, go talk to the old hag! Old hag? You mean Elder Ye? Uh, sounds about right. If you care about her, then you better get going! Huh? What's that supposed to mean? You know that Chai guy? He should be at that old lady's place right about now. If I were you, I'd leave now. I'm telling you, Chai is one sick puppy. He'll go to any lengths to get what he wants. Even to a sweet little old lady. <laughs> Damn it! Leo, we have to go to Elder Ye's house right now. We got all we need to know. We have to hurry to Elder Ye's. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Mr. Wong, Mr. Liu, we're done with him. You can let him go now. What? You're not seriously thinking about letting him go, are you? The longer he stays in the village, the more trouble he will cause. And there's no guarantee that his friends won't come for him. Oh yeah, that's true. Anyway, let's hurry. You don't have any cloth on you, do you? Sorry, what? A skilled textile worker is looking for some high-quality cloth, so I've been asking around here and there. Oh, okay. I've been told it's cloth that can only be found here in this village. Do you think you could do me a big favor and find some for me? There's something nice in it for you. Rare at that. All right, I'll keep an eye out for it. Where should I look? I was hoping you'd know the answer to that. That's why I asked you. You'll have to poke around the other shops, I'd imagine. I'm sure you're right.
Sorry to intrude. My goodness, you've come! Er, not to work. You handle cloth here, right? Wouldn't be a weaver if I didn't. I've got enough to go around. Is that so? Yes, but never mind that. I heard you saved Yenshin. Oh, well, I wouldn't go that far. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. He's like a grandson to me. Please, allow me to thank you. Gui Ying's been sick for so long. You don't have to, really. Won't you take some of my cloth? Would that be enough? Are you sure? Of course, I'm offering. Thank you very much. Move in and work for me, and you'll never want for cloth again. That's taking things a bit too far. Excuse me. I was wondering when you'd show up again. Have you found the cloth I asked for? I have. Yes, <laughs> wonderful. This is the thin silk they weave in Bailu, right? I mean, I assume so. I've heard a lot about it, but I'd never actually seen it until now. You can't find cloth like this easily, even in a big town like this. I can imagine. Now then, here's the treasure I promised you. A sculpture of a distinguished monk. I promise you, this is a very precious item. Trust me, it's worth the trade. I'll take your word for it. Say, do you have anything else to sell? Having second thought? I'll buy whatever you got to sell, so come by anytime. Elder, yeah. If it isn't Zhen Hua. Oh, and the young man from Japan. Come to ask about the Verdant Bridge again? We have. And as I've told you, it's ancient history. It has nothing to do with you. Or does it? The Phoenix Mirror. How did you get this? My father left it for me. 
It's what brought me to this village. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the Verdant Bridge, please. Sue and Soon both told us you would know more. Ah, so you've spoken to them. Yes. It was over 70 years ago now. 1910, the second year of the Shren Tong Emperor, and I was but a girl. An Imperial Envoy was sent from the capital to the village. The whole village came together and built a new bridge so as to welcome him. And that's the Verdant Bridge. It was a hot summer afternoon. Sue, Swan, and I were trying to get a glimpse of the Envoy and his troop. We could hardly contain ourselves as we waited near the bridge. At last, they appeared. They were resplendent. I can still picture them clear as day. The envoy came to command the greatest stonemason to make a set of mirrors of phantom river stone. And who was that? Well, phantom river stone can only be found here in Bailu. And of the stonemasons here, the Yuren name became known to the capital. They were the family that was chosen to make the special mirrors for the Emperor. The envoy gave the design for the mirrors to Yuren's grandfather. That must have been the mirror design we found at the house. Which matches the pattern in the photo that we found at Man Yuan Temple. And the relief we found at the quarry. This pattern is everywhere. Listen carefully. Find the six tokens here, then climb the bell tower. The bell tower? There are six tokens that serve as keys. You have to find them all. Find something? A token with a moon design. That's it. This could. Elder, yeah. What is it? A token. There's a picture of alcohol drawn on it. That's what we need.
It looks like a fist design. I found a token here. What? What's the matter? It's a token with a fist on it. Looks like you found it. It's a sword design. Elder, yeah. Hmm? Something there. A token with a sword design. Yes, that's it. It's a crane design. There's a token here. What? What is it a picture of? It's a crane design. That's it. Good find. It's a token with a dragon on it. There's a piece of paper with it. This might be a clue. Let's take them. We've got all six tokens. Elder, yeah, I found them all. Oh, you did. You should take that up the bell tower. Maybe I should play one.
Huh? I set a record? I'll keep going. I'll pass. Maybe I should play one. Set a record? I'll keep going. I'll pass. Maybe I should play one. got the top score. I've got this. I'll give it a try.
the high score. I'll keep going. One more. Away. Look at the time. Maybe tomorrow. I'll give it a try. Just one more. I'll pass. <laughs> 